So what I would like to show you now is our new notification framework, meaning uh, that you will now get notifications if a new client announces or if there is something going on with the client, if, if it sends some errors, if a Tenprint Hub sends errors, you will get a notification about that. You will also get a notification if some other uh, administrator is modifying the configuration in any way. So uh, let's click on this icon first so I can show you. So you see uh, we had a new device announcement. So that's the, that's at the time when I announced the uh, Thinprint Hub to Node Touch Center. Um, if you now click on it back, uh, the uh, number will disappear and you know that you don't have any new notifications except for, from what you have already seen. Uh, but let's see what happens if I now go to a different browser uh, to simulate a different user. Let's let's log in with another with another account. So I logged in with another account, and let's now change name of the Stintprint app. As you can see, the other user already got the notification and the name on the tree changed. And we have this little icon as I uh, explained before. What comes with that is uh, also very exciting because uh, we can share the notification with Slack. So we introduced something called Slack integration. So let me go to the Slack that I used for the test purposes first. And now if we go to the configuration page, we have uh, something called Slack integration. If we now, uh, let me explain that first, because uh, in Slack, you can create your own applications and there is one kind of them that will give you a Slack webhook URL. So I believe this is called actually a webhook URL, uh, a webhook, webhook application. But uh, if you get this URL and uh, place it here under the Slack webhook URL and turn on the notifications, now whatever I do here, let's change it. Uh, to just thin print, for example. So I just changed this uh, thin print hub to thin print. We should get that information right here. And see, here it is. Admin rename thin print hub to thin print. To see it live, let's maybe try to put um, two windows close to each other. Um, this will also work for uh, any configuration change. So if I now uh, reset this so that the, the ThinPrint Hub will not get a firmware update, if I clear that, we get the notification. So that might be useful for, uh, for monitoring what's going on with Node Touch Center. Uh, it, will, it will tell the same things uh, as up here, right here. Uh, so of course I did it right now as an admin, so I don't see this notification, but if we go back to our previous user, admin2, uh, we see that admin reset the configuration value.